Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will. Hopefully you're having a great day today. In this video, we're covering the earnings reports forecast for Spotify and how if you're an artist today, a producer or a label, you might want to be thinking again about potentially offering your subscriptions to your fans and listeners. You see, the subscription gains that we are seeing in Spotify are absolutely insane. And we can see that even with ad markets, uh, less ads being used by artists and a lot of big artists still continuing to use Spotify, we've seen that the actual subscriber numbers have been fluctuating a lot. And let's break it down. Let's look at this. And before we do, guys, I want you to know your music is tremendously valuable. And this is just going to prove how valuable your music is, whether you want to admit it or not. We look at iTunes, we look at uh, Apple starting to offer those downloadable songs back in 2008, 2009, and then offering the, uh, the streaming from Spotify. Why did they come about? Why are they here today? And why is Spotify so huge? It's because they're making a lot of money and the way that they are doing it is through subscriptions. So let's take a look at the subscription data and this will help you to be able to offer subscriptions yourself as an artist let's just take a look here so when we're looking at the market we can see that they were expecting that maybe some people would leave a lot of people would leave spotify when they increased the monthly amounts that it costs for their subscriptions so they decided to increase their subscriptions end over end from 2023 to 2024. They keep increasing it for the listeners that they have to pay more money every month. Now, even though they've been increasing with higher prices, they're still seeing continued subscriber growth and they're seeing a massive increase in the average value of each customer. So the average revenue per user is something that they've seen grow massively almost 25 million dollars over the past year and that's subscription revenue so one thing that you thought maybe is that when they increase their prices people aren't going to continue to pay for spotify but that's not what they've seen in fact people are continuing to pay for music because people value getting the music anywhere on Spotify, on Apple Music, on Deezer, on on TuneCore or wherever, there is a reason that there's so much going into these subscriptions. It's because people are valuing music. So I want you guys to think about this for yourself, right? Because we see Universal Group, uh, they own a percentage of Spotify. So does UMG, all the big labels, they own a percentage. But even with Spotify, the most successful artists right now are realizing the value of their music. They are offering their own subscription and they're playing the game of creating their own subscriptions that people pay for direct to the artist. So the reason that's important, guys, is because I want you to think about how you're capitalizing on your music. Are you just putting it out on Spotify or are you creating your own place where people can subscribe to your music? Just a thought that I'd want you guys to think about today. And also, if you're an artist, it's similar to being, being an athlete, right? You have so much creativity. You are getting your music out there. And at a certain age, you know, it's going to be harder to continue to do your marketing or continue to do your, your creativity every single day. But right now, you know, where you're at in life, you have all this creativity to be able to use, similar to an athlete that has their energy that they're able to put into their work. You know, there comes a time where it's harder for them to output a lot. And your voice might be the best it's been. Your sharpness on producing and how you're making music is at a peak right now. You are in a state of being able to consume this content and be able to create. So what does every athlete has uh, every single athlete has a coach, right? Someone that can help them to be able to grow. If that's you and you're saying, I want to be able to learn how to create my own subscription, how to do direct consumer, and I want to talk to somebody about it. Well, I would encourage you guys, click the second link down below. You can book a free call with myself. We can talk about your music goals, some of the things that are happening in the market, and how you can capitalize on them as a producer, artist, or singer-songwriter.
If that sounds like something you'd like to do, get a coach, someone like myself to help you grow your music business faster, whether you're an independent artist or you're just trying to figure out how you can get to your first thousand bucks a month and you're saying, what can I do to monetize as an independent? Well, I would encourage you again to click that second link down below to book a call with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a big move for Spotify and it's just going to show that there's a lot of value in your music and you should treat it as such. So again, I would encourage you guys to like, subscribe, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.